The Hampton School for Girls in St. Elizabeth marked a momentous occasion as the school community came together to commemorate Jamaica Day celebrations and honor the legacy of those enslaved Africans whose labor contributed to the establishment of Hampton School and Monroe, Monroe College. Here's Raheem White with more. Amidst the vibrant festivities, a significant moment as the school board, along with the Monroe and Dickinson Trust, collaborated on the installation of a plaque in honor of enslaved Africans. The plaque serves as a reminder of their significant contributions to the fortunes of Caleb Dickinson and Robert Hugh Monroe, benefactors of Hampton School and Monroe College. The ceremony, attended by members of the school community, included students, the chairman of the trust, and representatives of the Hampton School Board. Guest speaker, Member of Parliament for St. Elizabeth Southwestern Floyd Green highlights the importance of honoring the enslaved who contributed to Jamaica's history. He notes the significance of telling your own story and acknowledging the contributions of all members of society. I'm very happy that this Jamaica Day for Hampton is very different. And it's very different because not only are you celebrating our culture, which includes our history, but you are ensuring today that we tell our own story. What are we doing? Telling our own story. Telling our own story. One of the challenges that you have in history, any of you who are students of history, you recognize that history depends on who tells the story. And oftentimes, in the history of our nation as a people, we have allowed other people to tell our story. MP Green also emphasized the value of honoring the enslaved and ensuring their rightful place in Jamaica's narrative. Yes, we have told for a long time about the benevolence of Hugh Monroe and Caleb Dickens, and that is something that we will continue to tell that story. But the reality is that there were people who slaved to ensure that we could be here now, and their stories have to be told. Raheem White, CBM News.